Hello Junkaholics! And today we're scrapping a Magic Chef microwave oven. Now, this microwave um, blew up on my mom. My mom gave it to me. She says, scrap her out. So let's scrap it out. Oh yeah, in there there's an extension cord, all the prongs were loose, and I said mom it's time for a new extension cord before you burn down the senior center. Here I'm just checking all the surfaces, um, to see if it's actually stainless, the only thing that was good was the handle the handle is actually aluminum and i decided to do the lazy way just cut the handle off the grinder didn't feel like taking the whole door apart although eventually the whole door fell apart, so it didn't matter anyways. By the way, there's a lot of background noise when I was doing this, so I just figured I'd dub it. And uh, some people are saying they kind of like this uh, dub version of my um, scrapping. So, especially scrap it all. He says he really likes uh, this format, so it might be something that might be a, a thing I do on a regular basis. And tell me what you think down in the comments. And uh, whatever people seem to like, that's what I'll do. Now I'm just going to remove all these screws, you know, basic scrapping. Just pop in the access panel for the um, turntable motor. For this, for some reason, they had had a bunch of uh, little tabs that were still together. So the only way to get at it was to pry this door off. Of course there's always a screw you forget. Once I took this off it was very easy. And that just goes into my motors. I don't bother taking those apart. The rest of the screws that had to be taken out have a security bit. So they're basically a Torx with a hole in the center. Um, you need that to get into most microwaves. This one's a T20, secure bit or CRV, blah, blah, blah. And we'll just take the rest of those screws out. Now we'll take out some internal screws. Um, just a few.
and there's some electrical cord. And here's the transformer scratch in the first coil and it was aluminum now we're just going to reveal the bottom coil and uh, see what gives there A little bit of a file. And it reveals the bottom one is copper. It's been so long since I've seen even a half aluminum, half copper transformer in a microwave. So remember Magic Chef. If you find one of those, make sure you open it up because there is a good little ball of copper in there. Now what I'm fidgeting with there is the Magnetron. I don't normally screw with them, but I keep losing all my magnets. So Magnetrons are a great source of magnets and that's the only reason why I'm screwing with it. Well, mom, that's the reason your microwave stopped working. Blew a hole right th out of the end of the magnetron. And uh, that's what happened. That's why you were seeing sparks when you were heating up your craft dinner. Now I'm just taking out some stuff, uh, you know, switches and the circuit board. That's what I meant to say. So there wasn't much to that. So, you know, a couple relays and that's about it. So now I am going to remove this other board that has a transformer, some more relays. What I'm saying here is this little thing is going in my motors. It had a bunch of copper windings in there, but probably not enough to take apart. So once I'm done stripping the relays off this, that board's just going to go into the shred, and that transformer is just going to go into motors. 
it's just not worth it for me to tear apart those little transformers. So I'm playing with in here as a motor and just gonna scratch it and it's copper. Now all I'm going to do is remove the keypad and uh, show you what I'm after there. We're just about done here so I'm going to remind you to like and share, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, it really helps the channel. So here I am lifting up the keypad. It's just a sticky, but just because it's a sticky doesn't mean there isn't some goodness in there. And what we got here, as soon as I'm finished playing around, peeling this thing apart, because it's got layers. So you don't really want the number part but you want the piece underneath. And that's silver mylar. Um, so some people can recover the silver from them. I just collect them. Eventually I'll find someone that wants to buy them and uh, I'll sell them off.